Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some golf games I found on the GameCube. These games are the golf games that don't have a franchise, so they are separate entities in the golf game ecosystem the GameCube has. And the first one is Swingers Golf, which is not what it seems. I mean, from looking at it, it looks like some sort of arcade golf game. I mean over the top characters, the visuals look like those arcade games, but it isn't. It isn't like Tiger Woods or Mario Golf either, it's some sort of monster of its own. What makes the game difficult to put in a genre are the controls. They seem intuitive and easy to pick up at first, but after a few matches you realize how much depth and how complicated the controls really are. They require precise movements. And this is something more advanced players seek. So beware that if you're a casual arcade game lover, this game might not be for you. As for content, the game has 6 curses, 14 playable characters and 4 arcade modes. Tournament, Stroke, Match and Short Course. Overall, I suggest you to play the game only if you want to see something different. Because the game itself isn't all that great, at least in my opinion. The unnecessary difficult controls can get on your nerves in some matches, but if you have a little masochist in you, then you'll find the game refreshing, as it has these unique controls. Outlaw Golf doesn't stand out for its golf mechanics, rather it stands out for its over-the-top nature. There are golfers who beat themselves up in a golf match, and characters are exaggerated. The golf mechanics are decent, they aren't as good as Tiger Woods even if you can see the influence, but still they are decent. And after all, as I said, the main selling point are in the golf mechanics, it's the humor and atmosphere, and there the game provides. I mean, it's a decent golf game with over the top humor. You don't play it only for the golf, you also buy it for the humor and over the topness. Ribbit King isn't technically a golf game, it's actually a frolf game. Yes, it's a word in this game. So Scooter, the main character, has to save the planet by playing frolf. Scooter is a carpenter and the king summons him to tell him that the planet won't have energy in the future because they run out of ribonite. I don't know why a carpenter can save the planet but anyway, they can win ribonite if they win a frolf tournament. As for gameplay, the frolf it's weird, but also okay. You bash a frog on its head and on the curse there's a lot of garbage. If you get the good garbage, you get points. If you land on bad garbage, you lose points. Also mention, you have to calculate how you bash your frog very well. Because once you hit it, you just stand and watch where it lands and you can't even turn off the cutscenes for those who want to speed up. You have to watch where the frog lands. You get 6 head bashes to sink your frog into a water well. And by the end the player that got the most points wins. There are 11 characters in the game and each comes with its own cutscene. Overall the game is cute, unique, has a nice story with bonus cutscenes too and I recommend it, even if some might find it silly or too casual. Or both. Legend of Golfer is a good game. I can't tell you much because the description isn't very long. The game tries to be more simulation like than arcade, you get a character creation tool with decent options for the time the game was released, there are a few training mini games, but it still doesn't stray far away from the average golf game on GameCube. The game is great, just like the usual golf game on the platform. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.